birthday blues. Birthdays become far less fun in one's older years. 21 again rings in my ears like a clanging cymbal. Another year older and another year deeper in debt to the Lord. Without him, I would probably not have reached the grand old age of 44. He saved me countless times now and I will always be in his debt. The biggest birthday in the Christian calendar is of course the birth of Christ. This birthday is celebrated all over the world. As my birthday is the end of September, I feel it often cues that Christmas is coming and it's time to prepare. And Christmas cards are often first on my list. I often find great pleasure making a list of churches I've visited and spending time writing the card, reflecting on some of the amazing sermons I've heard, reflecting on God's word. I try to pick cards that represent the true meaning of Christmas. More often than not, I like a good nativity scene on the front of my card. We often forget that Jesus is now over 2,000 years old. I wonder what gift Jesus would like in the 21st century. Although gold, frankincense and myrrh are great gifts of that time, would they still be as sought after today? Also, after 2,021 years, I imagine there's not a lot that we can get Jesus that he doesn't already have. Mm, perhaps the latest smartphone, or an evening at the ballet, maybe, or perhaps a voucher for John Lewis, where he can decide for himself what he wants. I searched birthday in Bible Gateway online, and four results came up. One, birthday of Job's sons, two, in Genesis, Pharaoh's, Pharaoh's birthday, and twice in both Matthew and Mark about Herod's birthday. Pharaoh raised a toast to his officials. Job told his sons to arrange feasts. Herod arranged the daughter of Herodias to dance for his guests and he also arranged a banquet for the high officials. Now, Jesus has two birthdays, his birth in the stable and his resurrection. In the UK, we also celebrate the Queen's birthday. In the Bible, we hear of many births, but there really isn't a lot of birthday celebrations. The four found in Bible Gatry, the high ranking people of the day, only had parties to celebrate. One of the best gifts I received this year was a hug from my mother. It cost nothing and meant the world to me. I've often thought that it should be the mothers that celebrate their child's birthday rather than their offspring. They went through nine months of carrying the child and brought a light into the world. <laughs>